In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do classic pen and pixel style text that you would see on Cash Money Records, No Limit Records, all those old vintage 2000 style album covers. They even used it on the 21 Savage and Metro Boomin cover not too long ago. But uh, I've always wondered how to do it, and I finally figured out how to do it, so I'm going to show you guys. It's not that hard, it's real quick. Only thing you need is Photoshop, and uh, yeah, let's get into it. So first things first, we're going to go to File, New. Just for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to keep it at a width of 7,500 and 2,000. And we're going to make it a resolution of 300 pixels per inch. I'm going to click Create. Go back to my default workspace here. Um, okay, so we have our document open. Next thing we want to do is create our text. I'm going to do video tutorial just for the sake of the video. I'm going to do it at about 200, 220. There we go. Move it over like so. Double click again to open the text back up. Let's go to text warp. I'm going to go to arc lower. I'm going to move it to about 20 pixels that's fine click check we're actually going to move it down to the bottom here because we're going to hit Control t or command t on mac i believe and we're also going to hold shift while we do this we're going to drag it up to give it that vintage arc look like so let's bring it down just a little bit That's fine right there. Then we're going to duplicate this layer. Put it at the bottom. We're going to double click this layer. We're actually going to make this white. Next, we're going to go to 3D at the top. Then we're going to do new 3D extrusion from the selected layer. We're going to do this on the text that we just made white. Click yes when it actually change the workspace. It's gonna make the text 3D. There we go. We're gonna remove cast shadows right here on the side. Make sure we do that. And we're gonna change the extrusion depth to about 180 to 300, somewhere in there. Probably around right here, 247. I'm gonna change this to bevel. Actually, I'll set it. So let's go ahead and put it back somewhere right here. The main thing is you want you don't want it to be too deep, but you want it to still have some space inside the text. So you, it kind of accentuates the 3D look. Okay, from here we're gonna go to our infinite light right here. And we're just gonna choose a preset that kind of accentuates the edges on the inside. Yeah, let's just do CAD optimized. And, okay, so this is going to be what the text looks like. If you zoom in, you can see the details of each one. We're gonna bring that out a little bit more when we apply our layer styles and stuff at the end. So the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is go to 3D at the top and then go to 3D render 3d layer now I'm gonna pause my recording because this is gonna take a while but when we come back it's gonna be done and I'm gonna show you the next steps also a quick plug I just released my complete bundle on my website saves.studio where we have mock-ups text styles templates brushes basically anything you can imagine to make your designs better right now it is on sale and if you purchase it you will get every kit that is released in the future once it gets added to the master pump Okay, so I took a nap. That's how long this took. <laughs> but seriously, it, it took a while, but it's finally done. And then from here, we're gonna go to window. We're gonna go back to our default workspace, which is this one. Might be different for you. First thing we're gonna do is go to the bottom here and we're going to add a hue saturation. 
Go to right click and we're gonna click create clipping mask. That way we can adjust this how we like it. I'd say about here is good. Can turn the saturation up just a little bit. Gonna find a color that's kind of a gold. Somewhere around here. Again, we're trying to keep those levels so we can still see some of the detail. I'd say that's okay for now. We're gonna do a little bit more adjusting in a second here. Next, we're gonna to go to the top layer just to get it out of the way. We're gonna go over to our styles. I'm gonna use my Vintage Covers textile kit in this one. And I'm gonna use the third preset and it's gonna give it the diamond effect. As you can see, it's high quality effect. Then we're gonna right click on this FX button right here. I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom and I'm gonna click scale effects. Now this can zoom in the effect or pull it out I'm gonna pull it out just a little bit I say to about 60 between 50 and 60 is okay I'm gonna do out to 67 this is what our text is looking like right now I'm gonna come back here we're gonna go to curves also make this one clipping mask gonna adjust it to taste bit better so from here <clears throat> actually gonna duplicate this I'm gonna convert it to a smart object and then duplicate it again that one and again I'm gonna actually go back here and recreate these clipping masks but I'm also gonna go here and I'm gonna go to blending options once in blending options I'm gonna go to gradient overlay I'm gonna use a gradient from my vintage cover gradient kit I'll link this kit in the description so you can download it for free. And I'm just gonna go through and try to find something that gives it a little, you know, a little detail in the middle section here, just to give it a little bit more of a gold, like a real gold look, kind of like that one. I'm gonna go with this one. I'm gonna go through some of these just to see what type of effect I get. I kind of like the lighter color. I'm gonna make it real subtle. And we're looking kind of good right now. I'm gonna do one more levels layer and I'm gonna make it a clipping mask as well just to really fine-tune and get it to where we want it to Got some 
start. Now, a lot of this is just up to taste, but you know, this is just the way to do it. I think we're pretty much there. We don't want this to be too bright because you don't want this part right here to be too gray. You kind of want it to have some, a, a tinge of brown to it just so it actually looks like a shadow, you know? And we're gonna do one more thing in our blending options, I forgot. A little bit. I'm gonna add a satin. I'm gonna fake it. Just gonna go through a couple of these to see the effect that we get. I don't want it to be too, too bright. actually go back to the levels really quick here just to make one small adjustment again as I said it's all up to taste you can do it how you want And this is our final product. As you can see we zoom in. It's pretty, pretty close, I'd say, to what you can, you know, see on a lot of those pen and pixel covers. Savage Mode 2 cover. Also just wanted to say I have a lot of presets available in my vintage covers text, uh, textiles pack. I have a blue diamond one as well, and a bunch of other styles. Let's see here. Like that one looks good as well. Also have a ruby one, green one. Marble, as well as some other styles. But yeah, that's pretty much our tutorial for today. Here's our final text. One thing we can do as well, just to make sure we have a final copy of this, hit Control A, Control Shift and C, hit Control V. Grab all of these, put them in a group, turn the light off. And now we just have it as one solid thing where you can just drag up to another project and uh, go from there. Now, if you like this tutorial, feel free to subscribe below and to comment whatever you want me to do next. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.